in a head-on collision, a car stops in 0.24 seconds from an initial speed of 11 meters per second. The driver has a mass of 64 kilograms and it's tightly strapped into his seat. What force is applied to the driver by his seatbelt during that fraction of a second? Express your answer in newtons. So there is a driver, he has an initial speed of 11 meters per second when he slams the brakes because he's going to collide with something, let's say it's going to crash with a rock. So he slams the brakes and the car stops from 11 meters per second to zero in a fraction of a second, that's 0.24 seconds. Notice that the car stops because there is friction between the road and the tires and that friction makes the car stop. But the person inside the car is not going to stop because the inertia and his body tends to keep the same movement in the same direction. That's why the seatbelt that we can see in blue is going to push that person back or give him a support force to stop because the inertia will keep him moving forward. Let's do the free body diagram. The only force exerted on the man is the support force, but that's the only real force. The orange arrow represents the inertia of the man going forward. The summation of the forces in the x direction is equal to the mass of the man times the acceleration. MA represents the inertia. The support force is negative because it's going to the left from this reference frame. Minus FS is equal to MA. Let me move this result to the left of the screen and let's calculate the acceleration. We know that acceleration can be defined as delta B over delta T. It's the change of the velocity over the change in time. We know that our final velocity is 0 meters per second because the person is going to stop and the initial velocity is 11 meters per second that was the same velocity of the car. Our change in time is the final time is 0.24 seconds, that's our stopping time, and we say that the initial time is just zero, the moment when the person slammed the brakes. We use the calculator and we get that the acceleration is negative 45.8 meters per second square. That's more than gravity, because remember gravity is 9.8 meters per second square. That's almost five times gravity. That's why people get hurt when there is an accident, because the acceleration is very high. In some accidents, a high acceleration like this could break bones. Now that we have both equations, let's substitute. Minus Fs is equal to the mass of the man times the acceleration. So we have that minus Fs is equal to 64 kilograms times negative 45.8 meters per second square. And we get that the magnitude of Fs is equal to 2,933 newtons. But we can do an approximation to 2,900 newtons. So as a conclusion of this mental experiment, we can observe that the friction between the tires and the road are going to stop the car, but the person inside is not going to be affected directly by that friction. So if the car stops, the person is going to continue flying away through the front window. That's why the seat belt is very important, because the seat belt is going to attach the person to the seat. When the body of the person tries to keep moving because of inertia, the seat belt will apply a support force to keep the person in place. Sometimes the acceleration is very high and the person is going to be hurt, but it's a lot better to be pulled on the chair than flying through the windows. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, your geek friend, your girlfriend, and remember to buckle up guys, it's important. Buckle up, use the seatbelt.